What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I am going to be doing my 2024 complete Blu-ray collection video. Just like I did last year, I'm going to be doing another one this year. I decided I'm going to do a uh, complete Blu-ray collection videos yearly. That way I can do like complete videos. I don't have to do deal with updates and stuff like that like I used to be doing. And this year I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be trying it a little bit different than last year. If you don't remember the video, then I'll put up an annotation somewhere here to check it out if you want to. But last year I kind of sat down and I took everything off the shelves and I showed them off one by one. And that's how I typically have done Blu-ray videos in the past. But this year I want to try something a little bit different. I want to try to not take everything off the shelves this year because that was pretty frustrating last year and a lot of stuff got mixed out of order and I'm actually still finding some Blu-rays that were kind of got that kind of got out of order from last year's video. So my plan to do it this year is to kind of hold up the camera to every movie that I have on each shelf, talk about specific ones individually here and there, but still make it so you can see every single movie that I have. I'm not going to be pulling every single movie out and talking about it and men mentioning the title. Also because I've got way too many movies. I've got a lot of Blu-rays down here to go over, so I'm hoping this saves up time and this saves up stress and <laughs> frustrations of bringing every movie out and talking about it, but still showing off my entire collection. If it works, great, I'll do it next year. If it doesn't, I'll go back to the usual format. So <sighs> you guys know how Blu-ray videos go. I feel like either way, this is going to take a lot of time to go through, but hey... <laughs> I like making these videos and you guys seem to really enjoy these videos so I figure I'm going to do one every single year. Without further ado, let's get started with the entire collection starting with the stuff in back of me. Alrighty, so all my Blu-rays start here with numbers and then they circle all the way around around me in alphabetical order. I guess I should mention my box sets first, at least some of them because I got them right here. Uh, they're right above. So that is the Halloween uh, 15 disc collection followed by the Back to the Future uh, 4K Trilogy Steelbook set, my Jurassic Park 4K collection, the Jason Bourne 4K collection, a Target-exclusive Jurassic Park Blu-ray set. I've had this for a couple of years, and I've never even opened it. I might actually sell that. I'm not entirely sure. Um, I got the Resident Evil 5 movie collection. I do have the final chapter, whatever that one's called, separately. We'll get to that one later. Uh, we got Batman, the complete television series. I've watched a bunch of episodes of that, and I love it. The Universal Classic Monsters Blu-ray set. The Star Wars 6 film collection. The Indiana Jones uh, Steelbook, Best Buy exclusive Steelbook set. Friends, the complete series. And Alfred Hitchcock uh, 4K set, volumes 1 and 2. I haven't gotten volume 3 yet, but I'm hoping to get it real soon if I can find it for a good sale price. So here are, here's where we start with the individual Blu-rays, starting with uh, Two Guns. I picked this up for Black Friday. We got uh, three, to Hell, three From Hell, which I thought was all right. We got the three Ten to Yuma movies. This is the original from Criterion Collection, and this is the Best Buy exclusive steelbook of the remake. Ten Cloverfield Lane on 4K, one of my favorites. Uh, another one of my favorites is Twelve Angry Men. The original is, of course, a classic. And I have the 1997 remake, which I really liked as well. I watched that um, two years ago, and I really liked it. Uh, this 12 Monkeys is the original Blu-ray. I did pick up the 4K copy, but the disc was still defective, so I decided to just hold on to the Blu-ray. Um, I just recently picked up 21. I got it at Half Price Books. I've been meaning to pick that up for a while. 21 and 22 Jump Street, some of my favorite comedies. Um, I got 28 Days and 28 Weeks Later. They just announced a new one, which is pretty cool. Uh, 31, Rob Zombie's worst movie, if you ask me. I also just recently picked up 48 Hours. I know the 4K is out, but that was just a really good price, and I didn't want to pass it up for that price. 101, 101 Dalmatians 2, Classic Disney, 127 Hours with the Deadpool slipcover. I still am holding on to those, surprisingly. I thought I would have gotten rid of some of them by now, but I actually haven't. Um, 1408 is an underrated Stephen King adaptation, 1917, uh, great movie, 2001 a Space Odyssey, one of the best 4Ks I have. This movie called Absence, which I got from the dollar store and I never watched it, I'm probably going to sell that. 
And just this past year, I upgraded my Ace Ventura movies to Blu-ray. Looking forward to watching those on Blu-ray. I also, this past year, rewatched Across the Universe. I used to not like this movie. I watched it when I was in high school, and I didn't care for it. But I watched it this year and actually really enjoyed it. Um, the Addams Family movies, uh, I've only seen these two. Haven't seen the animated ones yet. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season 1 and 2. The other ones aren't on Blu-ray, so I don't even know if I'm going to hold on to these, but we'll see. I got two copies of Airplane, one of my favorite comedies of all time. This is the Paramount 100th anniversary, whatever it was, slipcover. Was it 100? Yeah, 100 years slipcover. And then the Steelbook. And I just recently picked up Airport, the complete collection, for like $5. Very happy about that. Uh, Alien on 4K, I'm really happy we're getting Aliens really soon. When that comes in, I'll probably sell these two sets, but I haven't decided yet. Got all the Alien movies, I got the original All Quiet on the Western Front, as well as the new remake. This, mo this movie, All the Right Moves, I actually paid quite a bit for it, and I was like, that's weird. And then I found out it's out of print, and I'm trying to get all of Tom Cruise's movies, but... You know, for, even though I paid a little bit extra for it than normal, it was still a pretty good price. Uh, Ambulance, it's a real fun movie. I finally found a Blu-ray of American Beauty. I've been looking for that Blu-ray for a while now. Also just recently picked up American Graffiti on 4K. And there we go. Uh, here we got the American Psycho Steelbook, which is one of my favorite steelbooks. All-American Werewolf in London, the Arrow Video box sets. I've got quite a few Arrow video box sets, so I'm I'm pretty happy about that. I don't know if I mentioned Amsterdam in my last one, but that was a movie I was really looking forward to, and I put off watching it like usual. I uh, picked the, I got this really cool edition of Anchorman that I got a couple of years ago, and it's still in the plastic. It's pretty cool. And then I got, of course, Anchorman Two with that obnoxious sticker that didn't come off, but oh well. I also recently picked up Angels and Demons. I picked up the other movies in this collection, in this series, because I watched them with my dad a bunch of times, and, uh, yeah, I decided I want them on Blu-ray. Animal House, one of my favorite, another one of my favorite comedies. The Annabelle movies, I don't have the third one, but I also picked up the rest of the Conjuring movies that I didn't have. Uh, over here, of course, we got the Ant-Man trilogy. I finally watched that last year, and that was really, really bad. Um, Apocalypto. This was out of print for a long time, and I f they finally released it during the pandemic, so I was able to get a copy of it. Uh, Aquaman, great looking 4K. Haven't seen the second one yet. I finally picked up a 4K of Argo. This is a really great movie, and I've had this uh, extended box set for a while, but I finally got a 4K copy of it. Arrival is another one of my favorites, and I didn't mention this in my last one, but I finally have a Blu-ray of AI Artificial Intelligence. Not one of Spielberg's best movies from what I heard, but still worth picking up. All right, getting a, <clears throat> getting a little lower. Uh, Asteroid City, that was a new release that wasn't in my other video. I got the Avatar uh, 4Ks, but I'm still holding on to my original Blu-ray, Austin Power Trilogy. Of course, we got all four Avengers movies. Uh, Baby Driver is one of my favorites. Uh, Babylon, haven't watched that yet. We got the Bad Boys uh, movies. They just announced the fourth one. Bad Grandpa 1 and 2. Well, not 1 and 2. Bad Grandpa and Bad Grandpa 0.5. Underrated. I actually don't remember the uh, 0.5. I think I only watched it once, but uh, the, the original Bad Grandpa is just so much fun. I love it. Finally found a 4K of Bad Times at the Al Royale. That was hard to find for a while. Uh, Bait 3D. I have no idea why I'm still holding on to that. Barbie on 4K. Haven't watched it on 4K yet, but if you saw my favorite movies of the year of last year's video, you'll know that I really enjoyed it. All five seasons of Bates Motel. Uh, most of the live-action Batman movies, and then get a little lower. There's the other ones, and then this is all Batman stuff. I think... Yeah, right here. Mystery of the Batwoman. This was the last animated Batman movie I needed. And now I think I have every single animated Batman movie. So I'm I'm pretty proud about that. Uh, Battle Royale. This is the uh, four-disc set. 
Uh, I've got all the Beatles movies. Well, not all the Beatles movies. I don't have a hard... I don't have um, Magical Mystery Tour and Yellow Submarine, but I got the first two. We got Eight Days a Week, which is really good, and Get Back, which is phenomenal. Uh, the Before Trilogy, I finally found a Blu-ray of Behind the Mask, The Rise of Leslie Vernon, that has quickly turned into one of my favorite movies. On to the next shelf, and I'm going to bring out... Benchwarmers, it's a stupid, stupid comedy, but a very nostalgic comedy for me. Uh, we got Beverly Hills Cop 1 and 2. I'm, I'm still holding on to the trilogy set for the third one, but the third one's coming out on 4K pretty soon, so I won't need that anymore. Aw, oh, Big Fat Liar. One of my favorite uh, movies from when I was a kid. Finally watched um, Big Lebowski on 4K, and it looks pretty good on 4K. I'm pretty happy about that. Um, I upgraded my Bill & Ted Blu-ray set to this nice Shout Factory one. And I like this one because not only does every movie have... Or not does... Not only, excuse me, does each movie have its individual disc, but I think there's more special features to it. And I paid a good price for it. And then, of course, I got Face the Music, which is awesome. I got the 4K Steelbook of Excellent Adventure and the Blu-ray Steelbook of Bogus Journey. Uh, while we're on it, I'm going to mention The Birdcage. This is another one of my favorite comedies. No other reason than that. I really enjoy The Birdcage. Um, Black Christmas, I was going to watch this year, but I didn't. And then I have this release of the 2009 remake. This is actually a German release. But it's region free, and it plays great. So I don't have the other Black Christmas remake, because why would I own that? I uh, got the Black Panther movies. I enjoy them, but I think they're kind of overrated. They're they're enjoyable. I just don't love them like everyone else does. The Black Phone is terrific, though. This was a really terrific movie. Uh, I got the Blade trilogy, Blade Runner, with the multiple editions, and then the 4Ks, and then a Steelbook of 2049. Blair Witch Project, Blair Witch, which I kind of enjoyed. Blazing Saddles is another one of my favorites. Uh, Bloodfather, pretty underrated movie. I really, really love Bloodfather. And then the last shelf down here, it's going to have to be at a weird angle. I apologize for that. Blue Beetle was one of my uh, honorable mentions of last year, but I really, really enjoyed it. Bodies, Bodies, Bodies. I know a lot of people talked about this movie, but I actually haven't watched it yet. Um, heard a lot of great things about it, though. The Boogeyman. Uh, that came out this year. Finally got a Blu-ray copy of that. Uh, let's go over here a little bit more. I got The Boys uh, Season 1 and 2, and I just picked up Season 3 recently. So I'll start watching those pretty soon. I know that I know Season 4 is out. Breaking. This movie was really great. I'm actually pretty disappointed that John Boyega did not get any sort of Oscar nomination for this movie. He deserved it, and I actually went out of my way to find this Blu-ray, because my Best Buy didn't have it. Had to drive like almost an hour away to a different Best Buy to get it, but hey, that's how much I really, really like the movie, and it's definitely worth it. Uh, Brick, one of Ryan, uh, I think this was Ryan Johnson's first movie. Absolutely terrific uh, detective noir movie. Bronson, I just recently picked up on Blu-ray. I've owned the DVD for a number of years now. Finally watched Bullet Train for the first time. And I really, really enjoyed it. Not a great movie, but pretty fun movie. Oh, sorry, my phone did a thing. Um, let's see, anything else worth mentioning here? I guess we'll end with Cabin in the Woods on 4K. I haven't watched it on 4K yet, but I have seen the movie, and it is very, very great. All right, moving back upwards, we got more box sets up here. We got the Matrix Trilogy on 4K, the uh, Toy Story Toy Box Collection, Fast and the Furious 4K Collection, Batman the Complete Series, the Animated Series, the Godfather Trilogy, the Omen box set, the Star Trek uh, Original Motion Picture Series, and then the New Generation, or the Next Generation Series, Mission Impossible, the Six Movie Collection, and my old Matrix Collection Blu-ray, I'm holding on, holding on to it because of the Animatrix. That Blu-ray is, for some reason, out of print. So, yeah, I'm only holding on to it because of that. Uh, let's start with this shelf. I found a slipcover for The Call of the Wild, which I'm glad I did. Uh, Candyman movies, all the Captain America movies, including the really terrible 90s one. Maybe I'll rewatch it someday, but, yeah. K-1, 
Captain America or Captain Underpants, the first epic movie. This edition is out of print, and I got it a couple years ago for a really cheap price. Uh, I picked up recently Carlito's Way. Arrow video stuff is finally on sale. Don't have a 4K of Carlito's Way, so I decided to pick one up. Uh, we got two copies of the original 1967 Casino Royale. These were a pain in the ass to find. But I found them, and I got uh, a bunch of editions of the good Casino Royale, the Daniel Craig one. And I've got more copies besides just this. I'll mention them when we get a get on the way. Central Intelligence on 4K. I did not know this was on 4K for the longest time. I found the Changeling on 4K, or not not 4K, Blu-ray, with a really nice slipcover and pretty pretty cheap price for that type of slipcover. Um, I don't think there's anything worth mentioning here. Oh, I guess I found this at the dollar store. I I don't know. I might sell that. Um, but besides that, nothing really worth mentioning here. Uh, here we got Christmas Story 1 and... Ugh. Those were actually going to be my Christmas videos uh, in December. I was going to review these two and then A Christmas Story Christmas, but... I <sighs> didn't get around to it. I got all my uh, Child's Play Chucky movies. I don't have the 4Ks because I'm not that big of a fan of Chucky like, I, I, I like Chucky. I like the movies, but I don't love them enough to own the 4Ks of them. I'm perfectly happy with just the Blu-rays. Got Cinderella on 4K, which I'm really glad Disney is putting out more new editions of their movies. Uh, Clear and Present Danger. I have all the Jack Ryan movies on 4K. Clerks and Clerks 3. I don't have Clerks 2 yet, but I will get to it over here. Uh, we start with Clifford the Big Red Dog, which has a ca Canadian slipcover, which was interesting. But th those were in stores for a while. Uh, Clue the movie is out on 4K, and I cannot believe it. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. I love it. I love Clue. I love also love Cloverfield, and I still have that one. Uh, Collateral, another one of my favorites, The Color Purple. This is the original, and I have all the slip covers from the 100th anniversary of Warner Brothers. I think there's actually no, I think there's one that I don't have. And I don't remember which one that is, but I'll look it up um later. Commando needs a 4K in my opinion. I just recently picked up uh Coneheads. Can't wait to rewatch that one. I got the Conjuring movies, The Conversation. This was hard to find for the longest time, but I finally got it. Cop Shop. Heard a lot of great things about it. Excited to watch it. The Cornetto Trilogy. I want to get these on 4K because I love all three of them. Cowboys and Aliens. A lot of people hate this movie. I really, really like it. And it's supposed to be coming out on 4K uh, this year. Hopefully it does. All right, down here. Uh, we got Crazies and the remake, which I haven't seen the original, but I actually, pretty, I actually like the remake. I got The Creator, which I haven't watched yet, but um, heard a lot of good things about it. Heard a lot of weird things about it, too. I got the Creed Trilogy, Creep Show, uh, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon on 4K, Cry Macho, which I really liked at the time, but I haven't had the urge to go back and rewatch it, but I, I kind of want to rewatch it, if that makes sense. Cujo on Blu-ray. I know this has a 4K release, but I don't know if I want to upgrade it. I don't know if I should upgrade it. Cyborg I watched last year, and I had a lot of fun with it. I watched the DVD, and then I found a Blu-ray, and I was like, you know what? I enjoyed it enough to get it on Blu-ray. This, I didn't even know had a Blu-ray. I've heard about this version of... I've heard about this movie, and I was curious about it, and it was... It was pretty cheap. I wouldn't say it was, like, super, super cheap, but it was a pretty decent price. Got the Daniel Craig uh, 4K collection. This has two copies of Casino Royale, so with, uh, with these and those up there, that counts six copies so far. I got Daredevil Season 1 and Season 2. I don't know if those Blu-rays are worth anything, but I like holding on to them. The Darjeeling Limited, a lot of people say this is Wes Anderson's worst movie, 
I beg to differ. I actually really, really like this movie. I think it's one of his better entertaining movies. Dark Man, supposed to be getting a 4K pretty soon. Uh, here's uh, the Da Vinci Code. Like I said, I picked up all the other movies in that series. Dawn of the Dead, my favorite zombie movie. This is the original Blu-ray. And I'm so happy I finally, just the other day, got this in the mail. This is the 4K with like all the different cuts on it. And I didn't watch the movies yet, but I kind of demoed them. And man, do they look great. And then, of course, I got the remake on 4K, which I really like the remake. Hopefully we get day of the dead on 4k really soon all right uh we got the day of the earth stood still and then i picked up just the other week the remake which comes with a blu-ray of the original movie i did not know that so i might sell this but i haven't decided yet uh death on the nile is pretty good i've got all five death wish movies three is my favorite even though the first one is, is probably the best is the best one but my personal favorite is three i haven't seen five yet and i really like the eli roth remake but i just recently picked up five so that explains why i haven't watched it yet uh let's see deep blue sea is a fun movie den of thieves was a surprise uh, i got some random james bond steel books spread out throughout my collection so here's diamonds are forever Got the Die Hard movies, including that one. Disaster Artist is a really great one. Ugh. Let's see. District 9 on a 4K steelbook. That's a pretty nice steelbook, if you ask me. Doctor Strangelove, really great movie. Really great 4K. Uh, Doctor Strange movies. Dog Soldiers, I picked up on 4K. I think in my other video... I just had the Blu-ray, but I finally found a 4K copy for a really great price. One of my favorite recent So Bad It's Good movies. I loved Doolittle. I had such a great time making fun of it. But man, is it terrible. Uh, Donnie Darko, another Arrow box set, 4K box set. Don't Breathe and Don't Breathe 2. Actually, before I get to those, this movie is out of print. I did not know it, and I bought it for like $4 years ago. I'm so glad I did that. that. That's such a funny movie. Uh, let's see. Doom. Don't really care for this movie, but it was a really good price, and I wanted to see it. I just recently got Dracula Untold. Probably not that great, but it was it was like $4. Uh, Dread, one of my favorite movies with the Best Buy exclusive Steelbook. That's still in the packaging. Dumb and Dumber, Dumb and Dumber 2. I don't love either one of them but i get the appeal of them they're funny i enjoy watching them uh dumbo remake i don't know why i still have that dune this is the original this is the new one can't wait for the second one dungeons and dragons haven't watched that yet duel steven spielberg's first movie on 4k i'm so happy that that's on 4k just got this in today actually east of eden so now i got all of James Dean's movies on 4K. Oops. <clears throat> so this Ed, Ed and Eddie set is a bootleg. I bought this before the uh, the new DVD set came out. And I'm still holding on to this because it does have the specials and the movie that ended the series. The DVD set does not have that. So yeah, it gives me an excuse to still hold on to the uh, bootleg Blu-ray. Edge of, Edge of Tomorrow, one of my favorite Tom Cruise movies. Uh, Ed Wood, Johnny Depp's best performance. I don't care what anyone says. Phenomenal movie, and he is phenomenal in it. I love Ed Wood. Elf, just picked that up. Um, got some Elvis movies. I think this is Blue Hawaii. Yep. And I got the uh, John Carpenter version, which I was kind of underwhelmed with it. And then we got the Baz Luhrmann one, which is great. Yeah, after seeing the Baz Luhrmann one, I don't know, I was pretty disappointed with the John Carpenter one, which I uh, heard a lot of great things about the John Carpenter one before I saw it. Enemy, really weird movie, but loved every minute of it. Over here, we got the Equalizer trilogy, Escape from New York, Escape from L.A. Great movie, pretty terrible movie, but the 4K looks good on both of them. Uh, E.T., this is that nice 
uh, lenticular edition that I've had for a number of years now. Everest is another one of my favorites. I really, really enjoyed it. I still have both my copies of Everything Everywhere All at Once. This is the Walmart edition, and then this is just the regular edition. I don't know. I might sell one of them, but I haven't decided yet. Uh, Evil Dead, Evil Dead 2. And then we move down here. We got the other Evil Dead movies with uh, the new one, which I haven't watched yet, but I really want to. Maybe, maybe sometime soon I'll watch it. Ash vs. Evil Dead. All three seasons. It's a really great show. The Exorcist on 4K. Heard a lot of great things about this 4K, so I can't wait to watch it. I still have my um, original set of The Exorcist, and I got this set, which includes all the other sequels to The Exorcist, and I paid like $10 for it. That wasn't that bad. And then, of course, I got Exorcist Believer, even though I've heard bad things about it. I still want to see it, though. Uh, all right, we got all four Expendable movies, The Fablemans, which I really want to see uh, real soon, Fall, uh, the 4K Steelbook that I got for Black Friday. Really great movie. Uh, we got the Family Guy Star Wars trilogy, Fantasia and Fantasia 2000s. I got all the Fantastic Four movies. My favorite, I don't care what anyone says, is the unreleased one. It's so cheesy and so much fun. The Jessica Alba ones I never cared for, and I really didn't care for the Miles Teller one. Uh, let's see, Hobbs and Shaw, F9... Uh, Fast X, so I got all the Fast and Furious movies on 4K. The Father, terrific movie, but a very, very sad and tough movie to go through. Um, Fearless, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. All right, that's it for this whole shelf. So let's move over to the next one. All right, moving on to the next one. Ferris Bueller's Day Off on 4K. Looks terrific. Uh, we got the Final Destination movies, uh, Finding Nemo and Finding Dory. First Cow, I really liked when I first saw it, but uh, I don't know. I haven't had a much urge to go back and rewatch it. Uh, the Man with No Name trilogy, another uh, another Deadpool slipcover. Uh, Five Nights at Freddy's, haven't watched it yet. The Flash I saw in theaters. Really liked it in theaters, but I haven't watched it since then. Uh, the Fly, the original and the remake. Footloose is coming to 4K real soon. Ford vs. Ferrari. Modern classic. I love it. Forrest Gump. Absolute classic. Can't go wrong with there. Free Guy was such a big surprise. The French Connection. Everyone went nuts over that movie last year when they did that and took out that new that scene or whatever it was. And then the Blu-ray Blu went out of print for a while. I don't know if it's back in print now, but... And then we got the Fright Night uh, original Steelbook. And I still got the remake down here. Uh, let's see. I don't know why I have Frozen and Frozen 2. Have Do not have the urge to rewatch those, so I don't know. The Fugitive, I'm so glad is on 4K. I can't wait to rewatch The Fugitive. Uh, let's see. Obviously, Game of Thrones. Got all of them, including House of Dragons Season 1. Uh, let's see, The Gates? I don't know why I have that. I really don't know. I might sell that. The Gentleman, um, got one of Guy Ritchie's better movies. Uh, Get Out, terrific movie. Ghostbusters 1, 2, and Ghostbusters Afterlife. Didn't like the remake, so I don't have the remake. Ghost in the Shell original, and Ghost in the Shell uh, Scarlett Johansson uh, version. Ghost Ship, which is a, eh, it's a decent movie. I enjoyed most of it. A Ghost Story, really interesting movie. Uh, over here we got Gifted, which um, which I was really excited to watch, and I still haven't watched it yet. Uh, I'll get to it eventually. Uh, let's see. Uh, we got the G.I. Joe movies, which I don't know why I still have. I'm not a fan of really any of those. This one's all right, though, but it, they all kind of suck. Got the Dragon Tattoo movies, got the original trilogy, the uh, David Fincher one. I think it was David Fincher? I could be wrong. The Daniel Craig one, and then the Spider Web one. I uh, got Glass on 4K, and I still have that Steelbook, which I'm debating if I want to keep now that I have it on, on 4K. Uh, I still got my original Blu-rays of the Godfather trilogy because the 4K set doesn't have Blu-rays with them. 
Uh, I got the original Godzilla, the terrible Matthew Bueller one. Uh, this is a double pack that comes with Tokyo SOS and Final Wars. Uh, the 2014 Godzilla, which I really liked. Shin Godzilla, which I really liked. King of the Monsters, which is a piece of garbage. I don't care what anyone says. It sucked hard. And then Godzilla vs. Kong, which I enjoyed for the most part. Uh, let's see. We got Good Burger, 4K, or not 4K, Blu-ray Steelbook. They just announced the second one is going to be on Blu-ray. I'm really, really excited about that. Come on. There we go. Uh, just picked up recently this year, Goodfellas on 4K. I'm excited to see how that looks. Uh, we got All of Gotham, which I paid pretty cheap prices for. Um, even though I couldn't really get into the show when I first started watching it, I'm glad I still have it. Uh, Grand Budapest Hotel, one of my all-time favorites. I love that movie. Down here, uh, Gran Turismo. Haven't watched it yet, but I heard a lot of mostly good things about it. Didn't hear a lot of, didn't hear like terrible things about it, which is good. I got a lot of green movies. <laughs> uh, I think the standout one is Green Knight. I absolutely adored that movie. Oh, and Green Mile. Green Mile's really good. And Green Zone, or Green Room is really good. Uh, we got the Guardians of the Galaxy trilogy. Love all three of them. And then we got my Halloween 4Ks. I have multiple editions of the new trilogy. These are the standard editions. These are the Best Buy exclusive steelbooks. And spoiler alert, well, no, not spoiler alert. I made a video for it. I have the um, steelbook collection of the new trilogy. So, yeah, I'm just such a big fan of the Halloween franchise. I don't know what to say. Um, and then we end this shelf with Hang'em High and The Hangover. So that is my Star Wars shelf. Now let's move over to my other Star Wars shelf. Okay, I'm in a really awkward position going through this one, so I'm going to go through this shelf pretty quickly. Uh, we got the other Hangover movies right there. Focus, thank you. Um, Hard Ticket to Hawaii, another one of my favorites. So bad it's good movies. I absolutely love it. Um, I still got all the Harry Potter movies, even though I have them all on 4K now. It's just a very nostalgic collection for me. Haunt, which is a really great um very underrated movie, A Haunting in Venice. Wish it was on 4K, but, you know, I take what I can get. Haywire, which a lot of people hated, but I really liked. Heat, I think Michael Mann's making Heat 2, which I'm really excited if he is. Hellboy, Hellboy 2, and Hellboy the remake. Uh, let's see. The Hills Have Eyes, a uh, Arrow video collection, as well as the two remakes, which I think these are out of print. So I'm glad I got it for like $7 when I did. Uh, Hitman's Bodyguard. I haven't seen Hitman's Wife's Bodyguard, but maybe I'll watch that pretty soon because I'm really disappointed I didn't get to see it in theaters. The Hobbit Trilogy on 4K. Home Alone on 4K. Uh, Home Alone 2 is just the Blu-ray. We don't have that on 4K yet. Uh, let's see. Anything worth mentioning here? I got the Hotel Transylvania movies. I don't have that other one that came out, that straight-to-DVD one. I got all the Grinch movies, the How to Train Your Dragon movies, the Hunger Games movies, which I finally watched all the Hunger Games movies in preparation for the new one that came out, the prequel. And I actually really enjoyed all these movies. I was actually surprised on how much I really enjoyed them. The Hunt, very fun movie. Hunt for Red October. October, excuse me. <laughs> Uh, let's see. I Am Legend. I am really excited for the sequel, and I'm glad they're going off of the alternate ending. I think that's the better ending. I know what you did last summer. I still know what you did last summer. I love the first one. Really didn't like the second one. Uh, Inception. Great movie. Incredible Hulk. The Incredibles. Independence Day. Independence Day 2 sucks. And then we got all Indiana Jones right there. Blu-rays and 4Ks. Uh, last shelf. Here's the other Da Vinci Code one, Inferno. Uh, all the Insidious movies. Thank you for Black Friday. I was able to get the fourth one, or sorry, the fifth one. Uh, Interstellar on 4K. The interview. I don't think I'm going to hold on to this, but I don't know. We'll see. In the Heights. Everyone talked about this movie so much. And I got this at the dollar store. 
I don't know if that's good or bad, but I thought it was pretty funny when I saw it at the dollar store. Uh, let's see. The original Invisible Man, the remake. I might sell the original Invisible Man since I have the Universal Monsters box sets. Iron Man, of course, classic. Iron Man 2 and 3. It, the miniseries, kind of sucks, and the two movies I really liked. Uh, let's see, Jackass 3 and 4. Still waiting for the other ones on Blu-ray, but I don't think we're getting them now. Jack Reacher, Jack Reacher Never Go Back, Reacher Season 1, Jack Ryan, Shadow Recruits, Jack Ryan Season 1, 2, oh, and 3. I did get the third one. Uh, finally got the Jane Silent Bob movies. Jaws on 4K, phenomenal looking 4K. Jaws 2, I haven't watched on 4K yet, but it's an okay movie. All right, that was it for that shelf, and now we're starting with the much... Much bigger shells, but this is the last of the individual ones, so let's go through them really quick. Oh, actually, I forgot. I got some more collections over here. I got Ben-Hur, The Wizard of Oz, two Friday the 13th ones. This is the original one, and then the uh, Scream Factory one. Dirty Harry, The Complete Collection, and my original Spider-Man Trilogy Collection. And then up there, we got my Jurassic Park Steel Tins, which, which I've shown off in multiple Blu-ray videos. The Lord of the Rings um, extended box sets, Hobbit extended box set, that 70s show, my favorite show, the entire collection. All right, so let's start with this shelf. And I'm first going to bring up this, Cruel Jaws, another one of my favorite So Bad It's Good movies. I bought this on Amazon for 30 bucks. I thought it was going to be an old beat up copy. No, it's still basically brand new, and it came with a slipcover. The collector in me freaked out when I saw that. I love that movie. It's terrible, but I love it. Uh, Jerry Maguire, another one of my favorites. All four John Wick movies. Joker, can't wait for the second one. Uh, Joyride, I actually found this for a really good price at a used store. This is out of print, so I was really happy about that. The Jumanji Trilogy. Uh, the Jungle Book movies. All the Jurassic Park individuals, yeah, I know I got the 4K collection, but I, I love these individual releases. Three copies of Zack Snyder's Justice League, the uh, US version, the UK version, and the steelbook that has not been opened. And which one did I drop? I dropped Justice League Dark. Uh, and then I got some more animated uh, Justice League movies here. Um, my mom bought me K-19 The Widowmaker for my birthday, and now it's announced it's coming to 4K. I uh, hate when that happens, but whatever. Kick-Ass 1 and 2, just picked up the second one recently. Kill Bill 1 and 2. Uh, some My King Kong stuff. And then it ends with Kong Skull Island right there. This is the UK version because it was cheaper than the U.S. version at the time. I uh, recently picked up The King of Comedy, which is a Martin Scorsese movie, which heavily inspired Joker, so I'm curious to check this out. I might sell this. I'm not a fan of Pete Davidson. I have no idea why I have it. Uh, the Kingsman Trilogy. Uh, two copies of Knives Out. This is the original version from Target. And then I have the 4K Steelbook, which I love. Please put Glass Onion out on Blu-ray Netflix. I really, really want it on 4K. Uh, Krampus, the original version, and then the Naughty Cut. Krypton, I'm probably going to sell. They're not continuing the show, so I'm not interested. Uh, Kung Fu Panda Trilogy. Lady and the Tramp 1 and 2. Uh, Lady Bird. I finally found a Blu-ray for Lady in the Water. Lamb, I just picked up. This was at a used store for like 25 bucks. And I was like, yeah, I really want to see this movie. So I picked it up. Land Before Time, childhood favorite. Uh, the Last Duel. Stop hating on The Last Duel. It's a phenomenal movie. Last Night in Soho. Just watched this recently again. And I loved it as much as I loved it in theaters. The Last of Us, season one. Last Picture Show is finally out on uh, Blu-ray, or 4K. <sighs> let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, Lawrence of Arabia. I think this is still out of print. The Steelbook. Uh, maybe not. I could be wrong about that. Don't quote me on that. 
Uh, DC League of the Super Pets, really fun movie. Uh, Legend of Tarzan on 4K, all the Lego movies, all the Leprechaun movies. Lethal Weapon, 1, 2, 3, and 4. I've only seen the first two. And then the TV series. Um, I don't even have season three yet. Uh, let's see. Life. Life is a very underrated movie. If you haven't watched it yet, definitely watch it. It's really, really great. The Lighthouse. Another one of my favorite movies. Everyone hated Lightyear, but I really liked it. Stop hating on Lightyear. <laughs> I'm just kidding. If you don't like it, that's fine, but I really liked it. Got the Lion King trilogy. I don't have the remake because I really, really did not like the remake. The Little Mermaid, Little Mermaid 2, and Little Mermaid uh, Ariel's Beginning. I think that's what it is. And I have the remake. Now, I have the remake because I bought it at a used store for like $7, so I'm supporting a used um, local store. But I don't think I'm ever going to watch that. <laughs> Little Women, I just watched this for the first time, and I was surprised on how much I really, really loved it. Lock is a very interesting movie. Uh, here's Loki Season 1, which I'm glad that Disney's putting out 4K Steelbooks, and I missed Logan Lucky. This is a really great movie. Oh, let's see, Longest Yard, the original and remake. Looper, my favorite, probably my favorite Ryan Johnson movie. It's either that or Knives Out. Uh, the animated Lord of the Rings, which is very underrated. And then I got my Blu-rays of the theatrical cuts. And I got the 4K uh, trilogy collection. Uh, let's see. Nothing, I think, really worth mentioning. Oh, of course, we got Mad Max. I'm probably going to sell my original Blu-ray, but I haven't decided yet. Because I got the 4Ks of all of them. All of them. Uh, Magnificent Seven, the uh, original, and the steelbook for the remake. Uh, let me get a more comfortable level for you guys. Uh, let's see. Maniac is a really great movie. Haven't seen the remake yet. Man of Steel, I don't know why I still have the steelbook. I'm probably going to sell it. Um, the Mask of Zorro, this slipcover is out of print, and I'm so happy that I found it for like $10. Same thing with Masters of the Universe. This is out of print, I just found out. And I paid a good amount of money for it, or a decent price for it. Uh, Megan, just picked this up recently on 4K. Haven't seen the Meg 2 yet, but <laughs> I kind of want to because I've, it, it, looks, it looks like it's going to be so entertainingly bad. The Men in Black trilogy, Men in Black International... Mike and Dave Need Wedding Dates, stupid movie, but I do really enjoy it. Uh, then we got my, over there, my Mission Impossible Blu-rays. And that continues down here. I got the Steelbooks for 4, 5, and 6, and I just picked up the Steelbook of Dead Reckoning Part 1. Can't wait for Part 2. Uh, let's see, The Monster Squad. I just picked this up recently on Blu-ray. I picked up the Blu-ray... Because I didn't have enough money for the 4K, it was the holidays coming up, but this was on sale for like 17 bucks, and I thought that was a really good price. Uh, Monster House, classic from my childhood, really, really love it. Um, over here I got some Mortal Kombat stuff, I'm probably going to sell these two animated ones, but I haven't decided yet. Uh, I just rebought the Mummy Trilogy. Because this has much better packaging, and it was on sale for, like, a really great price. I didn't like the packaging of the old one. They were in sleeves, and they were so hard to get out. So I got a much better edition for them. Uh, let's see. Murder on the Orient Express. I mentioned the other one, so I'll mention this one. Pretty good remake. I also have um, the original on Blu-ray. <clears throat> the Naked Gun trilogy. Oh, man, these are such funny movies. I uh, got Vacation and uh, Christmas Vacation, National Treasure 1 and 2, Natural Born Killers. I have the Blu-ray for it because, again, didn't have enough money for the 4K, but I really wanted a high-definition version of that movie. All right, I just recently picked up, whoops, The Neon Demon. This is an interesting movie, and I weirdly enjoyed it. I had the DVD for a while. But I finally got a Blu-ray. We got the Night at the Museum trilogy, the Nice Guys. 
another one of my favorites same thing with nightcrawler night house i don't think got the the attention it deserved it's a really great movie uh, we got the 4K of Night of the Living Dead. Come on. As well as the remake from 1990... 1990? Yeah, the 1990 remake, which I love. I actually really love the remake. Uh, let's see. Nightmare on Elm Street collection, including the remake. Nobody, which I really, really liked. Nope. Terrific movie. The Northman, another terrific movie. And then two copies of No Time to Die definitely worth the wait i think no time to, to die delivered uh nowhere boy um doc not documentary a movie about the teenage years of john lennon i thought it was a really great movie uh, we got the nutty professor and nutty professor the two remakes the oceans trilogy old on steelbook this is one of my favorite steelbooks i love that artwork uh once upon a time in hollywood steelbook uh, Oppenheimer, I just recently rewatched, and I really loved it, just as much as I did in theaters. The Others on 4K, I'm really glad it's on 4K. Okay. Uh, Paddington and Paddington 2, I'm really, really excited that they're finally doing another one. Uh, Pain and Gain, I don't know why I brought this out. I'm, I don't even really like that movie that much. Parasites, classic. Oh, it's turning into a classic at least. Patriot, Patriot's Day, the uh, Patriot Games, another Jack Ryan movie. Uh, let's see, Peacemaker season one. Haven't watched that show yet. The Peanuts collection on 4K, which they look surprisingly pretty good on 4K. Got some Peter Pan stuff. We got the Mary Martin Peter Pan. Then we got uh, the Disney one, the sequel, and the Universal Peter Pan, which I really, really like. Uh, Pet Cemetery and Pet Cemetery the uh, remake, Phantasm. I kind of enjoyed most of those movies. The Pianist. Hopefully, we get a 4K of that real soon. Uh, we got some Pink Panther stuff here Curse of the Pink Panther, Son of the Pink Panther, and then the two remakes. The other Pink Panther movies are, God, they're tough to find on Blu ray. But I'll get them one day. Uh, let's see. We got all the Piranha movies, all the Pirates of the Caribbean movies. I'm probably going to sell my 4K of Curse of the Black Pearl. It looks pretty terrible on 4K. We got the Pixar Shorts collection. All the Planet of the Apes movies. Perfect timing for the new one to come out. Oh, something's getting tangled. Just recently picked up Point Break on 4K. I cannot wait to watch that on 4K. I love Point Break. I just recently watched all three Poseidon Adventure movies. Really enjoyed the first one and the remake, and this this remake is still garbage. All right, uh, Predators collection on 4K, and we finally got Prey on 4K. I was finally able to watch it, and I really, really liked it. The Prestige on 4K with the slipcover, that was a big surprise uh, seeing that in a used store. Uh, I got two copies of Pulp Fiction, I got the Steelbook, which is still in the plastic, and for Black Friday, I picked up the Standard Edition. Uh, I skipped over this one, Psycho Goreman. <clears throat> this is a really fun movie. Throwback to the 80s horror movies, and I really, really liked it. All right, and closing out this shelf, we got the Puss in Boots movies, two copies of Quantum of Solace. I'm trying to get the Steelbooks for all the Daniel Craig Bond movies, A Quiet Place 1 and 2, great movies. I can't wait for the other ones all the Rambo movies, and we close with Ratatouille. All right, and we got one more big shelf. So let's get through it real quick. We got more collection sets up here, the James Bond 50th anniversary collection set with the Walmart exclusive of No Time to Die, Star Trek, the original series, the Wreck collection, and the Beatles US CDs. That's not even a Blu-ray. I don't know why I mentioned it. Uh, all right, so starting with here, uh, I got The Raven. I didn't even know that this was a movie um, with a really good cast. I actually really like the story of The Raven. Ready Player One, pretty fun movie, but we don't need a sequel. Red Dawn and Red Dawn the remake. Red Dragon, very similar to Cujo, is on 4K, but I don't think I'm going to upgrade it. 
that's just that's just me though uh, let's see remember the titans where is it remember the titans really good movie from my childhood that i used to watch here's the other resident evil movie the final chapter uh riddick i have all the other riddick movies so i got all those i can watch those pretty soon the original ring and the steelbook vhs steelbook of the remake uh, let's see i got some robin hood stuff i got the Di um adventures of robin hood Dis uh god robin hood men tights disney's robin hood prince of thieves which i grew up watching the russell crowe one and then the taron edgerton one got the robocop movies uh rocket man another one of my favorites got the rocky collection both on blu-ray and 4k um only because the other two rocky movies the last two aren't on 4k yet so that's why i'm still holding on to the collection sets let's see roman holiday i just picked up recently uh, not really much else other ones to mention here i still have the running man on blu-ray even though it, the 4k is out but i'll probably still hold on to just the blu-ray we'll see uh let's see samurai cop oh man i love this movie it's so terrible and i love every second of it samurai jack a complete series uh, let's see i got the santa claus movies all three of them even though i only really like the first one all the saw movies with saw 10 huge surprise on that one uh still got all the Scarface movies. I might sell my Steelbook. I haven't decided yet. Scary Movie 1 and 3, the only ones I really like. All the other ones are terrible, if you ask me. All the Scream movies. We just need Scream uh, 4 on Steelbook, and then I'll have all the Steelbooks. Scooby-Doo, Where Are You? The Complete Series, and the nostalgic but kind of bad live-action movies. Oh, and the animated one, which I enjoyed the animated one. It's not great, but... It's all right. Uh, I got the Secret Life of Pets movies. See No Evil, Hear No Evil. I watched uh, last year, early last year, and I really, really enjoyed it. Um, let's see. I guess nothing really worth mentioning on this one. Just kind of taking a look at this one. Haven't seen the second Shazam movie, though. I'll get on that hopefully soon. Although it doesn't matter now that that DC Universe is dead. Uh, Sherlock Holmes, 1 and 2, Entertaining Movies, The Shining, and Doctor Sleep, terrific movies, Shrek, Shrek 2, and Shrek 3, hopefully we get Shrek 4 on 4K pretty soon, Sicario, terrific movie, haven't seen the sequel yet, Signs is another childhood favorite of mine, uh, The Silent Night, Deadly Night movies with the remake, uh, Simpsons movie, I've always enjoyed the Simpsons movie, Everyone was talking about this movie, and I'm sorry I still haven't watched it yet, but I'll get to it. I promise I will. I really, really want to see it. Uh, Sleepy Hollow, I'm glad that's on 4K. I don't know why I have Slender Man. I honestly do not remember why I have that. That That's probably going to be sold. Uh, Snowman, I'm probably going to sell too. I don't know. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves looks terrific on 4K really really happy with that 4k transfer sound of metal oh my gosh this was such a great movie i really, really i'm not even gonna say what it's about just just watch the movie uh space jam and space jam 2 both kind of suck <laughs> i'm sorry i'm not nostalgic about the first one like everyone else is but the second one is kind of a guilty pleasure two copies of specter the original blu-ray and the steelbook All right, we got some Spider-Man movies, or we got all of them. I got the Tobey Maguire trilogy, the Andrew Garfield trilogy, <laughs> trilogy. Oh, that's cute. I meant the Andrew Garfield 2 movie collection. <laughs> I'm sorry. I don't mean to pick on Andrew Garfield that much. Um, Spider-Man uh, Homecoming, Far From Home, and No Way Home. It's because of No Way Home, I was actually kind of like, you know what? I was a little too hard on Andrew Garfield as Spider-Man. He's still not great, but I, I was too hard on him in the past. The two Venom movies, I have no idea why I have. They're terrible. So is Morbius. They're, all three of these are garbage. Um, Into the Spider-Verse, terrific. Across the Spider-Verse, I haven't finished yet. But from what I saw, I really, really loved it. Split, I just picked this up on 4K. And I'm so glad I got it on 4K. 
uh, the SpongeBob movies, Stand By Me, one of my favorite movies of all time. All three A Star Is Born movies, Star Trek uh, 1, 2, and 3. I love all three of those movies. Then we got all the Star Wars movies. Um, still not a fan of the prequels. I really like Rogue One, or Solo. Rogue One is very overrated. I actually don't like Rogue One at all. The original trilogy is a classic, and I don't care what anyone says, I still really like the sequel trilogy. Clone Wars movie, all six seasons of the Clone Wars show. Hopefully we get season seven on physical media pretty soon. All four seasons of Rebels, season one and two of Mandalorian. A random copy of The Last Jedi. This is the Walmart exclusive. The Steelbook for the sequel trilogy and these nice editions of Force Awakens, Last Jedi. And then down here... We got those same editions of Solo and Rise of Skywalker. And then we got the despecialized editions of the original trilogy and this bootleg that is a making of the saga, the original trilogy. <sighs> All right, this is a funny title. Stop or my mom will shoot. Just look at that cover. Of course I had to buy it. Uh, Strange World. I'm kind of disappointed there wasn't a standard edition and I had to spend extra for the steelbook. But, eh, what can you do? The Terrible Suicide Squad and The Great Suicide Squad. Super 8, Superman the Movie, uh, Superman Returns, bunch of Superman stuff, and then leading into Supergirl. I have all the seasons of Supergirl. Sus uh, Suspiria, the original and the remake. The Taken Trilogy, Tar, which is only a Blu-ray, I couldn't find the 4K in stores anywhere, and Ted. Why are they making a prequel series? It looks so fucking stupid. I'm not going to be watching that. Uh, I got some Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movies here. I just picked up uh, Teen Wolf, the Michael J. Fox version. And then we got the Terminator. Got all the Terminator movies. These are the only good ones. Well, okay, I enjoyed parts of three, and I actually think Salvation is one of the better ones, but these two are just garbage. I just don't like them at all. <sighs> I got all the Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies. Even if the, that Netflix one comes on physical media, I probably will not get it. God, did I hate that one. I got all three Thing movies. Uh, the Thor trilogy with, <laughs> with that one. Yeah, we don't talk about Thor Love and Thunder. Got some Three Stooges stuff with the movie, which is a it's a guilty pleasure of mine. It's not a great movie, but I enjoy watching it. I got the original 50, 50 version of Titanic, the 1953, whatever it won, whatever year it was. And I got the James Cameron Blu-ray, and I just picked up the 4K of the James Cameron one. Titans, season 1, 2, and 3. I don't have season 4 yet. Tommy Boy, absolute classic. I love it. Top Gun 1 and 2, they just announced the third one. Kind of skeptical about a third one, but I'm also pretty excited since it's most of the same crew from Maverick coming back. Uh, the Town on 4K, The Town That Dreaded Sundown, and The Town That Dreaded Sundown uh, remake. Then we got all my Toy Story stuff. We got the original releases of the four movies and then the Steelbooks with Toy Story of Terror. I just picked up uh, Trading Places on 4K as well. Uh, let's see, uh, the Transporter movies, at least those three. And then we got the Train to Busan movies, the Transformers movies, the Tremors movies. Uh, of course, you gotta have Troll 2. <laughs> you gotta have it. It's one of the best So Bad It's Good movies of all time. Tropic Thunder, one of my favorites. True Romance, another Arrow video collection. Uh... Truth or Dare, I don't know why I have this. I think I heard it's another So Bad It's Good horror movie, so I wanted to check it out. Uh, the Unbearable Weight of Massive Talent, terrific movie. Unbreakable, terrific movie, and Uncharted. A lot of people didn't like it, but I really liked it. Uncut Gems, my favorite Adam Sandler movie. Underworld, I don't know why I still have that. I'll probably sell that as well. Uh, Us, another Jordan Peele movie, terrific final shelf uh let's see v for vendetta is a classic at least it's turning into a classic 
I think this is most of the VHS movies. I don't have all of them yet. Finally watched Violent Night, and I really, really loved it. Had such a great time with it. Wally, -E, the 4K from Criterion Collection. Here's the other Disney Steelbook 4K release, WandaVision, the complete series. Really glad that that's out. I really enjoyed WandaVision for the most part. Uh, this is the Criterion release of The War of the Worlds, and then I also bought the uh, 4K release of it. And then, of course, I got the Tom Cruise one, which I really enjoy, as well as the Steelbook. Uh, the Warriors, one of my favorite movies from the 80s, and it's out on 4K, thanks to Arrow Video. Thank you, Arrow Video. Let's see, Weird, the Al Yankovic story. I'm not kidding, after I bought this edition, like, three days later, Scream Factory announced their release, and I'm like, come on. Well, whatever, I paid a lot of money for this one. I'm not gonna sell it. I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna get my money's worth out of it. Uh, and I watched it, and it's really good. Uh, West Side Story, the original, and the remake, which I really like. Uh, the Wicker Man, this is the original, if I can get it. This is the original on 4K Steelbook. Please re-release the Nicolas Cage one. I want that on Blu-ray. <laughs> Wild Things, Arrow Video, Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I'm hoping to see Wonka really, really soon. Uh, Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. I'm not going to lie, I was really looking forward to this movie because it looked so amazingly terrible. And this is actually pretty boring. I was, I'm, I hate to say it, I was really disappointed with it. Witness. This is just the Blu-ray. I couldn't get the 4K at Barnes & Noble, so I just picked up the Blu-ray. And I'm just happy to have a physical copy of it because I remember that movie as a kid. And I could not for the life of me remember the name of the movie. And then finally it just clicked one day and I was like, oh yeah, that's the name of the movie. And I got a couple of movies on this really tiny shelf that's left. And I think the last box that I'm going to mention is the Harry Potter 4K collection, this Amazon exclusive Hogwarts Express train, which is really, really cool. <sighs> so we got a couple more. Let's get through it. Wolf of Wall Street. Awesome movie. Really, really liked it. Wonder Woman, great. Wonder Woman 84, garbage. <laughs> uh, Wreck-It Ralph and Ralph Breaks the Internet. Excuse me. I got all the X-Men movies. Um, this is probably the best looking 4K of all of them. Logan is just terrific on 4K. And uh, yeah, the most, the weirdest X-Men release right here. I have a cash grab for sure. Triple X, and then I got Return of Xander Cage yesterday on 4K. Uh, Young Frankenstein on Blu-ray. Hopefully that gets a 4K soon. Zathura. Another childhood favorite of mine. Uh, Zero Dark Thirty is really great. Zombieland on Steelbook. Zombieland Double Tap. And then we end finally with Zootopia. So I think... I think that's all of them. I think that's all of my Blu-rays. Nope, I lied. Hidden by my desk on top of my printer is my Superman 4K collection. And right here, I forgot to mention, well, I mentioned it earlier, but I forgot to show it, the Halloween trilogy uh, steelbook set that was exclusive to Best Buy, rightfully so with all of my Michael Myers masks. <laughs> it, it just fits in really well. Oh, <sighs> All right, guys, that is it. That is my entire Blu-ray collection. Hopefully this format of showing it worked out really well. If it didn't, if you preferred the other version, then let me know in the comment section, and next year I'll stick to that format. But this, for me, was easier to film, so hopefully you guys enjoyed it this way. Hopefully it, it turns out better this way. So yeah, that is my entire Blu-ray collection. Uh, everything over there, that's my entire Blu-ray collection. I'm done for the year. I'm done for the year. I will too. Like I said, I'm going to be doing these yearly, so next year will be the next one. Also this year, I'm going to be doing an updated DVD collection video, because I haven't done that for like a couple of years now. I was going to do it last year, didn't get a chance to do it. So I'm hoping to do that this year, so look forward to that video very soon. <sighs> Hopefully this isn't going to be too bad to edit. <laughs> That's my next challenge. So guys, thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Again, if you liked this type of format, then let me know in the comment section. If not, then I'll stick to the other one for the next Blu-ray videos I do. Thank you again for watching, guys. I really, really appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, then don't forget to like and share it. 
Subscribe right here if you haven't already. And until next time, guys, take care.